Hello friends and welcome back to Fuller Farm. I'm here in the kitchen just making some preparations for winter for the beehives. I've been using some scrap wood that we have here at Fuller Farm to make some quilt boxes and some candy boards to go on the beehives for the winter. So you're probably asking what the heck is a quilt box, what the heck is a candy board. So first off the quilt boxes, you can see and I'll show you underneath. The bottoms are all screened and then there's wood chips that are being held in here. The moisture in the hive goes up through the wood chips, hits the top ceiling of the, the top cover there and the moisture will just fall into the wood chips. Moisture in the winter is a big enemy of, of bees so this is quilt box provides insulation as well as it helps eliminate that moisture. So that's the quilt boxes. I just have a PVC here to try to allow the moisture to come up between the quilt box there. And then the candy boards we've got right here. So the candy board is so that it can hold candy. Or in other words, these little sugar blocks that I made that have vitamins in there as well as some lemongrass oil. Now I'm also adding these trays in here that also have some sugar syrup in here. Little platform so the bees can walk around and eat. And some more crumbled sugar block in here. Again, this is kind of an emergency. If they run out of storage, or feed down in the, the regular hive, they can climb up here and, and get uh, food during the, the middle of, or the hardest part of winter. So next up, we're gonna go put these on the hive. It is November, but we have, like, thankfully it's uh, in the 50s today, which I'll open the, the hives pretty quick and get these on and get them situated for the winter time. So next up, join me out in the bee yard. So here we are at the first hive. I'm just gonna take the top cover off. And then the inner cover. You can see the bees are clustering right here. I'm trying to be quick so I don't chill the hive too much. So there's my candy board. And then on top of that, I'm going to put my quilt box. So here's what it looks like all assembled. One thing I didn't point out is there's ventilation holes and I've got screen on the inside there. So we've got candy board and then on top of that is the, the quilt box. It provides insulation. The moisture comes up, hits the top cover box, right, this lid, and that moisture will go right back down into those pine shavings. And a lot of people that make these, I've, I've seen that, that just the first quarter inch of the wood shavings gets wet. So should help them to make it through the winter. While I'm doing this, I'm actually taking off this top super. And while I'm doing that, if you can see, there is a hive beetle. If you've never seen what a hive beetle looks like, it, there it is. It's going into that comb. It's trying to hide now from those bees. And here's another hive. This one had some pollen patty that I scraped off the top and put in here that can Climb up through that half inch metal fabric and get in here too. So they have all sorts of treats they can get during the winter in case they run out of food. Here's a look at my other two hives that we did a couple days ago. Same thing, you got the candy board and that lovely quilt box for moisture. It's just at 50 degrees. You can see there's not much activity at all. It's too cold for these girls. There's nothing going on there, but they're definitely in there. A couple days ago, they were all over the place, but once it gets cold, they stay inside and keep the queen warm. <laughs> 